And I think the thing that's gotten the most media attention has been anaphylaxis, which is where uh, people will get low blood pressure, trouble breathing, and it, it can be a life-threatening event. And that was not seen in the, in the Pfizer or Moderno phase three clinical trials. So when it first happened, it was a bit of a, not a surprise because we know almost all vaccinations, that's a small, small risk, but they didn't have a number on it because they hadn't seen it. And that's led to a lot of the, a lot of the concern that people have had. But right now, I, I think the risk of COVID long-term problems with COVID for people is so much higher than a bad thing happening with the vaccine. And because we have a treatment for the vaccine, but we don't have a real good treatment for COVID, if you think of it that way, if you're that unlucky one out of 100,000 people who gets anaphylaxis, you can receive epinephrine and recover. Whereas if you get COVID, we have 350,000 people dead in the United States from that. And we have a number of people who are gonna be long-term problems with their hearts, maybe with their central nervous system. There are no other things that COVID we're still learning are gonna cause long-term problems.